My name is Cole Young. I'm a product specialist here at 21st Century Equipment. Right here, we're standing in front of a model year 24 9700. We're very, very excited about this 9700 machine, this Forge Harvester. This is the second year it's been out, this 9700 with this engine package. So this is probably one of the most exciting engine packages we have. So this is the brand new John Deere 18X 18 liter engine. We had a lot of excitement coming out of Commodity Classic. Everybody was super excited about that new 9RX and the three horsepower models we have. That engine's not new in Ford's Harvesters. This is year number three on this engine for us. Zero emissions, no def required, very clean burning engine, very low fuel consumption engine. So we're very excited about that. Other thing we really like to talk about on these machines it's our Harvest Lab 3000. So the Harvest Lab 3000 on this machine, this sensor mounted up on the spout, it, we're gonna be reading constituents, we're gonna be reading moisture, we're gonna be reading everything on the fly, and we're gonna stream this data seamlessly to Op Center. This sensor mounted on this spout is taking a reading over 4,000 times a second. So very, very fast, very, very accurate. We can help better plan for next year, help better make those decisions in field real time. So again, we talked earlier about the no def required on this new 18 liter engine. So one of the ways we're really able to do that is when we look at horsepower ranges, once you get over that 700-ish horsepower range, the requirements for emissions it lowers drastically so with that and a lot of our fuel system and technology we have in our fuel system and our boost um, our turbocharger efficiency on this machine that's one of the biggest reasons we're able to not be able to burn def not being able to use def daily um, hourly so this is our brand new 46r pickup head uh, this is brand new from Deere, just got released this year from model year 24. What this head gives us, capacity, capacity, capacity. These higher horsepower machines, our pinch point when we're doing pickup work is always our head. This machine, this head eliminates that. So we're able to utilize these higher horsepower machines to their optimal, optimal conditions when we're doing pickup work. So one of the reasons we can do that and have this capacity is this larger auger on this head. The auger mixed with our chainless drive so we no longer have sprockets we no longer have chains driving this head it's all done by a gearbox which again increases capacity increases efficiency my name is derek kyle i'm a product specialist with 21st century equipment and today we were talking about all the new advanced technologies that are coming to model year 2025 with our combines. Some of the biggest features that are coming with those are ground speed automation, terrain settings adjustment, harvest settings automation, and probably one of the biggest features is predictive ground speed automation, which that's going to be using satellite imagery along with forward facing cameras to help predict what's coming into the machine before it even gets there. So we can be much more efficient with these machines. We can gain up to a 20% productivity increase by using this technology on these machines here today. The whole goal with this is to keep throughput through these machines at an optimal level to get more done in less time. Along with coming to model year 2025 is the new S7 series combine, which is replacing our current S700 series. We have an S7 600, 700, 800, and 900, our class six to our class nine machines. They're gonna have all new styling to look very similar to how our X9s look. All those new S7 machines are gonna have our same cab that our X9s have. We're gonna be getting new engines, a Gen 2 9 liter in our class six and seven, and a 13.6 liter engine in our class eight and nine machines. But the biggest star of the show is all the advanced technology that is be being able to come on the S7s, as well as our X9 combines. This new model year launch for 2025 of combines is, is one of the most advanced ones I've seen. John Deere is doing things today that nobody else in the industry is doing. With that predictive ground speed automation, that is something nobody else has done before. We've always had a reactive system, and John Deere is staying ahead with the technology they've got with cameras and satellite imagery to be predictive. That's going to be make things so much more efficient and make the combines work for us to get more done in a smaller amount of time. Hi, I'm Casey Andrews, a Precision Ed Consultant. This application that I'm going to show here is something new that was released last year to us. So basically we have the ability to mount this Harvest Lab sensor here on the clean grain elevator to measure grain quality. So we're looking at things like moisture, protein, starch content in the grain as we're harvesting. So we can collect all that information and make better decisions based on that. Nice part about this sensor is it fits a lot of different applications. I'm talking right here just about the one that can be mounted here on the combine, 
but it can be mounted on self-propelled forage harvesters. It could be used as a stationary unit, kind of like we see here, where it's got a turntable that we could do lab analytics there in a scale house or there at a person's operation. One other thing that's nice is we can use it for man manure applications. So obviously it's gotta be liquid because it's gotta be going through this sensor to measure all that stuff, but it gives you the ability to document the manure you're putting down as well as set certain limit rates basically, that way you're not over applying manure across your field. All this data that is being measured, it seamlessly flows over to operations center. So we can look at all the different maps, if it's starch content, if it's even with manure, we can look at nitrogen levels, we could look at phosphorus. All this information is flowing over there into the operations center where we can make those management decisions. My name's Hank Jackson, I'm a precision ag consultant. So in the whole farm connectivity, class we talked about putting modems in your trucks or something like this uh, gator that I'm standing in front of uh, allowing you to see your entire operation in op center and not just your uh, farming equipment. What's nice about the connecting your trucks is you're able to track them and see them on your uh, desktop or mobile device within op center and one uh, key feature that's coming in the future is going to be truck ETA so when trucks are leaving fields, you're gonna have uh, ETA on Op Center to plan when that truck's gonna be back to the field. So logistics wise, it's going to greatly improve your, uh, your operation. To do that, just uh, use a, the new M modem introduced by John Deere, and you can plug that right into your trucks or ATVs, or guys have even put it on fuel trailers to keep track of other fuel, fuel trailers. So very versatile modem uh, to connect basically anything to operation center for you to keep track of. Hello and welcome, this is Scott Osborne with 21st Century. Standing here in front of a 9700 chopper and I'll be talking about our uh, Precision Ag Essentials Kit. So basically what this is, is your entry level display and receiver combo. Um, you also get a modem with it. Uh, this is a true G5 display. It is your 11 and a half inch. It is a uh, very solid display as as you guys have seen in our other videos this is comes with just base unlocks there's no auto track no section control on that and then you have your 7000 here which is sf1 out of box however you guys get this hardware for 2000 bucks and then you guys can add unlocks every year for that your pricing after five years is about equal to buying it outright so you guys can spread that cost effectiveness over five years of productivity lower barrier for entry but still allow you guys to use this new technology that gets us closer to automation and autonomy is very very competitive and very appealing especially for guys that are upgrading for 2630s and gen 4s deer's running this promotion to really get guys ready for this autonomy boom that we're about to see as you guys see the sea and spray sprayer that we have here in the shop everything's moving in a direction that we are going to become very integrated. You guys are want to have everything that is wirelessly syncing, um, satellite-based accuracy. So we're just trying to get to a spot where a whole farm connectivity is possible at a lower upfront cost because we know it's expensive to get into this stuff. We want to make sure that price is not a hindrance to you guys achieving the goals you want to achieve.